Wow guys, what is going on with ticker symbol HCMC? Well in this video guys, I'm going to be strictly focusing on the news and the fundamentals of HCMC because I know a lot of you guys don't really want to see the technical analysis anymore. So in this video, it is important that you guys do not skip a second because there are so many key dates and there are so many key news that has been talked about recently and has been released by HCMC. But the funny thing is, and the interesting thing is, not a lot of people even know what these dates and what this news even means, and they don't even know about the news in the first place. So again, like I said, guys, it's important that you guys do not miss a second of this video. Otherwise, you guys might actually be missing out on some really, really important information. And with that being said, guys, do not forget to subscribe to the channel because at the end of each of my videos, I'll be providing my subscribers with free ARK Invest buy shot sell alerts at the end of each of my videos. You guys will be alerted with the genomic stocks, with the EV stocks, with the 3D printing stocks, just all of those stocks. All you have to do is click the red subscribe button. And enough with that. Let's finally talk about HCMC. So... Just to preface guys, HCMC is an OTC stock, or in other words, an over-the-counter stock, meaning they can only trade it on a specific amount of brokerages. Now, this is really important because it ties into the news that I'm about to say in just a few minutes. So let's start with key point number one. The key point is that HCMC is going to be doing a rights offering. I'm going to explain what that also means in just a few minutes because there's a lot of information to just unfold. So the first key point is that Maxim Group is going to act as the exclusive financial advisor and deal manager for this rights offering. That's just something that I thought you guys should know in case you guys wanted to know a little bit more about Maxim Group. Well, there you go. That's going to be the company that's going to be doing a lot of the financial advising and deal managing for HGMC in this rights offering process. And remember, if you guys don't know what a rights offering is, don't worry, I'll be explaining that in just a few minutes. Key point number two is that Broadridge is going to be the subscription agent. And basically what that means is they're going to be handling the transactions, right, that this rights offering is going to require. So they're going to be the company that basically does and handles all these transactions. And these transactions are really important because there's actually a lot of rules and it doesn't really, it's not that easy, right, to make all these transactions. And I'm also going to be explaining why. And there's a lot of things that you need to understand about these transactions because it is a rights offering. So with the transaction, each shareholder is going to be getting 25% of their current holdings. So to give an example of this, if you have 100,000 shares of HGMC, you can get 25,000 shares for a discount. And you can subscribe to buy even more shares, but you cannot get a refund if you oversubscribe, which I think means that if you buy so many shares of HGMC where it just gets to like an absurd level, I don't think you could get a refund for your shares. And this is really important, and it all really relates to the fact that if you do not apply for the rights offering shares, your current shares won't be changed but you'll own less percent of a company since the float is increasing. Let me repeat that again. So if you do not apply for the rights offering shares, your current shares will not be changed, right? But regardless of whether you decide to oversubscribe, subscribe, or, you know, request a discount, regardless, because this is a rights offering, you will, regardless, own less percentage of a company since the float is increasing. Now, when a float increases, it is not the best because it becomes harder for the price to move. It's harder for the price action to fluctuate. It's worse because there won't be a lot of volatility, which for a stock like HMC, volatility is necessary. And again, this all relates to a rights offering. At the end of the day, this is a type of offering, right? So it kind of really dilutes the shares, which is unfortunate, but I'll be getting a little bit more into that in just a second. However, for those that believe in the company, this is great. This is an opportunity because you're literally getting this stock at a discount when they do their dilution. The only bad thing is that it might cause some speculation as to why the company is trying to raise capital. Because it's the rights offering, when they dilute the shares, they themselves, the company, HGMC, is trying to raise money. And so some people, and this isn't me, right, but some people have the argument and they're just like, 
Why is this company trying to do this? It raises speculation. This happens all the time. This happened with Tesla when they diluted their shares. The speculation that a lot of people have, well, that's one argument. Yes, I agree. However, this happens all the time. Dilutions happen all the time. And I will agree, yes, it also does cause a lot of panic. But at the end of the day, if you really believe in the company, all of this is irrelevant. And to go back to my other point, for example, if this is a company that is already really financially weak, then why does it have to do this? That's another argument that people are talking about, right? Because this is an offering. Some people are just like, okay, well, why would you want to do a dilution in the first place, right? Is it because you're already weak and so you're trying to get what's left of this company? Or, you know, what's what's really going on? And I'm not saying this, like I said before, and I actually have some HTMC shares. This is just an argument that I've heard over time. Also, dilution could be minimized if a lot of shareholders oversubscribe. So if a lot of people end up buying back the shares, this makes logical sense because the dilution will be irrelevant. Yes, the price will fluctuate a lot, probably to the downside in a short amount of time. However, if as soon as people just start buying back the shares, all of this will be like the dilution never even happened in the first place, which is really great. And the nice thing is that HGMC is actually giving a lot of people many opportunities to reinvest in the stock for such a cheap price. And also, no one really knows how these shares will be transferred to your exchange platform. Now, in the beginning of my video, I said how um, you can only trade HGMC on like TD Ameritrade, possibly Fidelity. I'm not really sure, but I know that there are so many other exchange platforms like I think E-Trade, but right now there's really no clear indication of how these shares are basically going to be transferred because I know that um it's a difficult process. So again, when I talked about Maxim Group and uh, Broadridge, it was, it's just to like point out that it's going to be not the most difficult process, but it is going to be somewhat of a difficulty for these um, companies to make all these transactions to your account. And dilution happens around the end of May into the beginnings of June, and you have to own HGMC stock before May 14th to have a lower percentage of your portfolio allocated into HGMC, right? So I'm not a financial advisor, guys, so I think it's May 14th, though. Um, so, But all this is just my own uh, opinions and just what I believe. So I think you have to own HGMC before May 14th. It's somewhere around May, though, uh, I believe. So that's really important for people that actually want to participate in this whole dilution process. If you guys want your shares exchanged, etc., etc. And lastly, guys, the dilution is going to be happening around the end of May and into the beginnings of June. And I'm not a financial advisor, but I do believe that you have to own HGMC stock before May 14th to have a lower percentage of your portfolio allocated into HGMC. Now, this is just part of the dilution process. Obviously, when a stock dilutes, everyone loses um, the percentage of their portfolio allocation into a stock. But this is completely normal and it doesn't really affect your profit and loss. It just affects your portfolio allocation percentage wise. So don't be scared. Um, you're not just because there's going to be dilution doesn't mean you're going to automatically lose more or less money. Um, that's just going to depend on price action. But the percentage of your portfolio allocation will decrease because at the end of the day, it is a dilution. So with that being said, I'm going to transition over to the stocks that Kathy Wood and her team have been buying. Before I transition, I just want to say, guys, that this whole rights offering thing, again, there are so many possible reasons why HGMC could be doing this, and no one really knows the exact reason. Some people are saying, this is amazing, we can get HGMC for even cheaper, whereas some people are saying, this doesn't look too good for the company, right? So at the end of the day, it's really up to you guys on whether it would be a good idea for you personally to invest more or less into HGMC. And there's not too many things going on in the technical analysis. I said in my last video, and wow, this is actually really, really good. We are having the support that I actually drew in my last video, 0 0.0018, or you could just round that to 0 0.0019 because that's basically what it's at. If we break that, then uh, we could probably fall right back down to 0 0.0018. Um, but if we break 0 0.0018, then that's not going to be good. We'll probably see back to that 0 0.001 area, which we've been at for a very long time. But what I really like is that we have these two candles with the tails, and they just both of them actually same time same exact number did not break that shows a lot of strength so that's just what i see on the technical analysis side um 
Like I said, though, I didn't want to make this video too concentrated on the technical analysis. So I'm just going to go over to Kathy Wood's stock of the day. The stock of the day that Kathy Wood and her team have been buying is known as ticker symbol SKLZ, or in other words, skills. So they have this stock in two of their ETFs, specifically ARK-K and ARK-W. They started out their position on April 26 with roughly 5 million shares. And in their ARK-W ETF, they started out with roughly 6 million, or actually just round that to 7 million shares. Now we can see kind of a substantial increase. Well, not really, but not really substantial, but you can definitely see an increase in shares um, from April 26th to the beginnings of May. And same thing over here. So from April 26th to the beginnings of May, we also have an increase in share count. And as for their percentage of their portfolio allocation into skills, you guys can see that right here. It has been also increasing and the same goes for their ARC W ETF. It has been increasing. It was decreasing at a time though, but then they brought up their percentage of their portfolio allocation back up and actually higher than it originally was. For any of you guys that are holding this stock, hopefully you guys get a little bit of conviction out of this. No, ARK Invest is not selling this stock, or at least that's not what they've been doing recently. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do in the future, but for right now, they are not selling this stock. In fact, they just keep on adding to it. So hopefully that gives you guys some conviction for you guys holding this stock. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I know I didn't go too in-depth into ticker symbol SKLZ, but I personally don't know a lot about this company. All I know is that a lot of people have it in their portfolio or a lot of people talk about it, but I personally just haven't done a lot of research on this company. So therefore, I don't really want to misguide anyone. So um, with that being said guys i'm going to end the video here hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel so you guys can see more stocks of a day videos like this and also don't forget to comment if you guys want to see what kathy would specifically what ticker symbol what company she's been buying recently so i'll see you guys in the next video thanks again for watching